Hey everybody, Jack Lispian here with another video in our Just the Tips series. And today we're focusing on the Dark Angels, the really awesome Space Marine chapter near and dear to my heart. And today we're going to start off with a black primer. It's an our Spinal Res Black, just getting it all over the model. Easy stuff. All right, and for our first color, we're gonna go with Game Air Dark Green. And we're doing something a little different on this guy. Basically what we're doing here is thinning down our dark green to kind of a transparent and just spraying it all over the model. And we want just enough of the dark green to build up to kind of color tint this black. So it's gonna be like a black green. Um, and this is gonna help us lock in that ultra dark green uh, high contrast Dark Angel style. So just make sure to spray it on really super thin and take your time. And for our next color, we're gonna go with some model color flat green and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna thin this flat green down to a transparency and maintain a high angle of attack and just color tint what we just did with the dark green but with a little bit of that flat green so it's still going to be really really dark but we're getting a little bit more green in there so we're having that super super dark green and uh just going over but uh the difference between the last step and this one is that we're maintaining that high angle of spray so that we're not getting underneath the model into the shadows All right, so now that we have that, we're gonna go to some Game Air Scorpion Green. This is a really bright kind of neon green, and this is where we're gonna bring in that ultra high contrast. We're just gonna start doing some targeted spot highlights, not letting that paint build up too much, just enough to start getting that kind of really high contrast. So we're gonna be focusing the uh, brightest spots of the armor, you know, top of the shoulders, knees, boots, uh, top of the head, that kind of thing and hitting it with that scorpion green to kind of start popping out our green colors. But you can see that we've got that super high contrast and all of our shadows are that ultra dark black green, so. And the last airbrush step is we're going to mix some scorpion green with a little bit of our white Steinal Res primer and just do teeny tiny little spot highlights on the brightest points. So it's not pure white, it's like an off-white that has that scorpion green to it. So it's not going to be um, a pure white contrast to our green and it'll fade in a little bit. And it's okay that we're going a little bit brighter because we are going to throw kind of a green black wash on this dude and when we do that this off-white will get tied into the rest of our colors. Alright so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do all of our edge highlights for the model using just regular scorpion green. It's going to be a little bit more vibrant when we hand paint with it than when we airbrush with it so it's still going to pop out just enough on the armor and um, like the rest of our videos we're doing less is more with our edge highlights on these primaris marines so only catch the uh, top edges of the hard angles don't try to edge highlight round surfaces that don't need one just catch like the shoulders and the uh, tops of the feet and the knee pads stuff like that um, be a little bit more minimal and if you really want to do more you know you can do more it's it's your model you can do what you want but 
Um, when I paint Primaris Marines and, and Space Marines in general, I kind of do less is more with the whole edge highlight thing. And now we're going to go to some scale 75 necro gold. This is a really dark burnished gold. And we're going to knock in the uh, chest eagle here. Just give it a nice solid base coat. Be careful to uh, basically just paint inside the lines. It's, uh, it's pretty simple here. This, uh, this gold is a really nice base coat. You know that I basically use this for um, all of my gold base coats, if I can, uh, depending on what kind of gold look we're going for. But um, for the Dark Angels, I like everything to be a little bit darker, a little bit more grim, a little bit more um, aged and burnished. So uh, with this gold, we're basically just going to base it in and then highlight it with the same Necro Gold after the wash to keep it that nice dark gold. And for our joints, we're going to use Model Color Black as per usual and because we color tinted the black primer um, we have just enough green content in all of our shadows that this uh, matte black from model color is going to be dark enough to be a good color separation for all of our joints so we're just gonna get that in there make sure not to get any on our armor pieces take our time be careful all that good stuff And then we're going to go to neutral gray and highlight the little uh, hard edges on our joints there. Just kind of pick out those lines. Super easy. And then we're going to go to our army painter wash system, some quick shade wash, mixed medium, green tone and dark tone. And basically we're gonna have just enough dark tone in that green wash mixture to make it kind of a green black because the quick shade medium tends to brighten up everything. So what I like to do is add in the uh, quick shade, then the color, then dark tone to darken everything back down. And like normal, we're just gonna slather that all over, making sure that it doesn't stain by taking some water in our brush and just moving that wash around on our big flat surfaces and wicking away any excess so we don't have any nasty stains. And here he is. You can see that wash did its work, got all of our recesses nice and shaded. All the details are popped out and we're pretty much done. We don't really have to do anything else to this model because we've already got our edge highlights down. We've already got everything else highlighted. And that's kind of the point to these Just the Tips videos, is you can do a whole army really quickly and really cleanly. And just to go over our paints one more time, we started off with some Steinal Res Black Primers from Badger Airbrush Company. Really great stuff. Also, Dark Green from Vallejo Game Air, and remember we did this as a transparent coat. Then we went to Model Color Flat Green, and again we used this as a transparent coat, so make sure you thin that down super thin. And then we went to some targeted highlights with Scorpion Green from Vallejo Game Air. And then we mixed that with some white primer to get our spot highlights. For our joints, we went with Model Color Black and highlighted those with Model Color Neutral Gray. And lastly, we went with Scale Color Necro Gold for all of our gold highlights. We use the Army Painter wash system, quick shade wash, mixed medium with some green tone and then added in some dark tone to get it nice and dark. And there he is. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. We'll be back again with another one of the Space Marine chapters in the next video. And if you haven't already, make sure to head over to Twitch and follow me there because the live shows are where it's at. Don't miss out. I'll see you all next time.